So this is your last call. If you guys don't know, we usually look at the end of the week for 801, Banshee, Zer, and Eververse, all in that order. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, let's look at the fit for the video because I know people are going to be asking. So this is an old one that I made, Acolyte's Ambition for uh, Wormhus Crown. Definitely a probably the best ornament, if I'm being honest. And Themic Invocation Vembraces for the arms, Megalomorph Vest for the chest piece, Aphotic Lamellar Strides for the boots, and then Cloak of the Taken King. So obviously I'm going for a very Taken, or not Taken, very Hive, almost like organic type of thing, which is why I like the Megalomorph with the Aphotic Strides. These two are just so good together. And then with, with the... Uh, Introduction of Anthemic Invocation. I think this is just amazing. Remember in Anthemic Invocation Not only did I do a review video for the armor plus a shader video, but I also did the class specific videos already I did those a while ago So definitely check those videos out. I'll hopefully have them in the video like somewhere around here but Yeah, I Specifically mentioned this one because this one is still available. Unfortunately, a is not available anymore uh, Megalomorph is only available during Halloween Cloak of the Taken King is only available during or in a dungeon, specifically um, Ghost of the Deep. And then Acolyte's Ambition, I think, is available all the time in Eververse. So, Shader is Iron Wolf. This is an old Shader, so when Iron Banner comes back, you can definitely play Iron Banner to get that Shader if it's dropping. So, as for 801, we're going to be looking at Valkyrie Zero. This is a really good Shader. Just be aware that it's not a good Shader for Cloth. Specifically, you guys will see right here that there's orange on that. It looks way better without the orange because it gives you a really good black and red. And the white is, I think, an off color if I remember correctly. So the main focus is just going to be this orange that you definitely want to skip. We have New Pacifica Sync, which is a shader from Titan, specifically the planet Titan or moon, I guess you would say. And yeah, I it's fine. It doesn't do anything for me, but if you want to pick it up, definitely pick it up. And then we have War Cult Rain, which... I'm not the biggest fan of this one specifically because of the yellow. Other than that, it's a pretty good color. As for the armor sets, I'm not going to show them because specifically it's just three class items and two uh, and three helmets and three chest pieces. I've already reviewed them in length, but I'll quickly show you how they look for all the classes. So hunters, it should be at the end of world if I remember correctly for both of those pieces. Nope, it's not right here. So, Neothonus Breather, which I'm not the biggest fan of. I personally really hate this one. Uh, just because it looks really, really bad. We have the Scorn Baron Vest, which is really cool. And I did I would recommend it if you're going for a Scorn theme, just because it does look really cool. Memory of, of Cade Cloak is not my favorite, considering it's... The cloak from Io, and I'm not a fan of that cloak in, in general. Uh, Titans, let me check yours real quick. Um, okay, so the helmet is pretty cool. It, we, my, me and my friends used to call it the Wakanda helmet. Um, this is the coolest one. That being said, I'm still like not like I don't love it that much to be, to be fair. And then the other one's gonna be the Scorn Baron plate, which is really really cool. Definitely would recommend this one. Uh, especially since you titans have two scorned ornaments which look really really cool and then the mark i definitely really love this is one of my favorite marks when i go for a casual look just because it has very minimal like um it, it's just very minimal is is what i'm trying to say <laughs> which is why i really like it and then warlocks i'm gonna be honest with y'all the only good piece is the chest piece the chest piece is really really good um just because it's so it's it's legitimately really cool yeah i love it it's one of my favorite chest pieces in the game for warlocks and then the other two pieces are pretty much forgettable if i'm being quite honest this helmet is pretty trash i'm not even gonna look at the class item because it's literally just a holographic thing on it yeah, helmet's pretty terrible. So that is pretty much it for 801. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from her. As for Banshee, we have Whispering Slab with Rangefinder and Unrelenting. Cartesian Coordinate with Feeding Frenzy and Vorpal Weapon. Uh, Velpicula with Encore and Headstone. Ogma PR6 with Stats for All and One for All. And then Palmera B with Auto Long Holster and Adrenaline Junkie. This is the only red border weapon here. I would probably say Cartesian is pretty nice, uh, Vorpal. I mean, you're definitely not going to want Feeding Frenzy on it, but 
it's a good one until you get the god roll of uh, Elpacula is pretty nice I don't care about Encore really but Headstone's really nice uh Agma with stats for all and one for all means you're gonna be procking this two of these perks which is really gonna be really cool and it's fucking Whispering Slab which I feel like he sells all the time overall don't really care about what he's selling as for Zer, he's at the tower in the hangar currently selling the Season of the Plunder armor set, which is pretty pretty cool actually because Season of the Plunder has some pretty good pieces for all the classes, not just the Hunters. Although to be quite honest, I think the Titans got some pretty good pieces as well, if I remember correctly. Well, I mean, we'll see right now, but Hunters, I like the helmet. Uh, the boots I use for a lot of pieces, specifically there's one with uh, Celestial Nighthawk that I love to death. Um, I don't like the arms personally. They just look a little too weird to me. A chess piece I don't like and the cloak I definitely don't like as well. Titans, let me go see yours real quick. Helmets trash. I think the arms are super cool. I think the mark is really cool because it has a hammer and I go for like a, a Thor theme. Uh, boots and chess piece are whatevers. And then warlocks. I think you guys got some good pieces if I remember correctly. So helmet, I definitely really like. I don't like the arms. The chess piece has potential. The boots have potential. And the bond is also really, really cool. So I definitely would recommend a lot of these pieces just because they do look really, really cool. But let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. I will also have the armor stats right here. So that way you guys can see what you guys are going to be picking up. And like I always say in every video, this is technically beginner armor for me at least uh you definitely could pick all of these up and play with them but if you want to uh jump into that like making like making your armor stats look really good then you're going to want to do dungeon specifically master versions and that way you can get uh what's it called artifice armor artifice armor is the best one just because it gives you an extra three stats on each of the armor pieces you're you're wearing so it'll give you three three six nine twelve yeah twelve free stats on anything you want which is really really powerful which is why i always recommend that and if you don't want to do dungeons you can go get it through pve or pvp specifically competitive so let me know what you guys are going to be picking up for the armor as for the weapons dire promise with overflow and osmosis annual skate with slice shot and opening shot blood feud with ambitious assassin and elemental capacitor truth teller with disorienting grenades grave robber and quick draw which is pretty nice the day aside with dual loader and demo blast but two with a quick draw and snapshot and then memory inter interdict surplus and wellspring so there is no red border for this one um this is pretty wait blood feud is a red border if i remember correctly yeah this is a red border this came from season of the plunder as well and season of plunder we still have weapons from that so this is a red border that being said it's not that great of a weapon uh i'm not a fan of aggressive frames that being said some are cool it's just the fact that i feel like i'm reloading more than i'm shooting which is why i'm not a fan but let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from weapons as for exotics hawk moon with quick draw which is actually pretty nice lord of wolves and then for the other exotics we have liar's handshake with mobility being at 26 which is pretty high uh adc a or acd slash o feedback fence with resilience being at fucking 30 if you bump that up to a 40 and then masterwork it it'll be max resilience which is pretty nice and then aeon soul which i'm not even gonna waste my time looking at that so let's actually see what i get young ahamkara spine huh okay as for eververse we have whispering sheen or whisper sheen i should say this is one of my favorite shaders i've made a video on it i'll have hopefully have it right here somewhere definitely love this one it's one of my favorite shaders if you're going for like a wooden look and even then like it has a really good gold overall this is just one of the best shaders in the game for me we have copper tone patina this doesn't look bad i would probably just uh switch the, the claw ugh switch the um, cloak out and for like a dark black dark black for a black super black mostly and then switch it for like another hive themed that would probably be decent we have ossified entrance and then alone to be joined for drain which i definitely would recommend just because it gives you a normal looking gun and then dance off And then the stuff at the bottom, we have Essentialism for Thorn, which I just got like literally not even 10 minutes ago because I 
kind of wanted it, even though I'm, I feel like I'm going to regret getting it, but I feel like I'm, I'm going to not regret it, hopefully. Uh, we have extern externalization. Uh, Wanderer's Wings. This doesn't look bad. I actually think this looks pretty cool. Photo electric shell. This actually looks pretty cool too. Not gonna lie, man. Yeah, this actually looks like really cool. Uh, and then we have Vanguard Dare Boots, which I will show you. Actually, let's do that now instead of me forgetting to do it and not do it. So let's go to universal ornaments go to the other class so this is the titans i like the boots a lot for the titans so definitely get the boots just because it gives you a very like anatomical like because this like looks like muscles to me so that's why I, I say anatomical and then warlocks um universal please there you go this one which is kind of ass if i'm being quite honest yep very much ass so that's pretty much it for those boots. Go back down so I can sh show you the rest of the stuff. Let me investigate. And then Chrysalis entrance. Chrysalis? Chrysalis, en Chrysalis entrance. That's what it should say. Um, champion entrance. Chrysalis. Jesus Christ, dog. Uh, illicit transmit. Ooh. This is cool. And then Coleopet Coleopetra, which I definitely think the shader looks really, really cool. I would recommend the shader just because I made it with a with a set not too long ago. And I was like, man, this is kind of look cool, though. Uh, we have Jungle Viper. Yeah. Bruised Blush. And last but not least, Amethyst Veil, which is a really good black and purple shader. Definitely would recommend it if you're interested. Just because it does look really cool. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. I thankfully I have already done all of the parade armor set uh, for all the classes already. So if you guys haven't seen that, definitely check them out. I'm also pushing the shorts for those. So if you guys just want to see the sets and not hear me talk, check out the shorts because those are usually where I just show you all the armor. And that one's a little bit different because I'm showing male and female as well. So that goes for the review video, the shader, not the shader video. Shader video is different. But that goes for the review video plus the class specific videos. The shader video, I probably won't do that just because that'll take me more time than I'm comfortable doing. But yeah, I will most likely be posting the we me and my clanmates have already completed the week two Pantheon. So I will most likely be posting that tomorrow, which is Monday for me. And I have other stuff planned, specifically the, let's just go to collections real quick so I can show you. We have, so Vanguard Dare stuff for the Hunters and then for the Titans and Warlocks as well. Those are going to be made like soon because they're, they're still selling these pieces. I'm still deciding whether or not to do the these because these did get sold. But unfortunately, the only place you can get these now is through Everse for 15 bucks each. But if you did pick these up, during the those weeks that they're available for bright dust then congratulations that being said do you guys want me to make these still because i i made the sets i just need to make the videos uh the the voiceovers for them but yeah i've i've done a lot of it so if you guys want to see it let me know in the comments below to be honest i still probably will make them on alongside these just because more videos will never hurt that being said these take a while now that i'm working full time because i don't have as much time to to uh, just make a video like a whole ass a review shader plus the class specific videos in one day like i used to now it's just i'm lucky to post all of those within the week so let me know what you guys want i'm excited because this is the last month until the next expansion comes out for destiny 2 and then after that we'll see what's up because i don't know if destiny 2 is dying or not to be fair it's probably not that they're probably just gonna push or pull back all of the resources they had for the other games and put it into destiny 2 just because uh i always say this destiny 2 or bungie is best when their back is against the wall because then that's when they make out really good content that's how we got uh, uh the taken king forsaken uh 
so many great content that came out that's when it becomes really good when bungie's like oh, okay if we don't fix this the game's gonna die so hopefully the next expansion is really good and then the new seasonal models that we're getting is good as well because if not then yeah we'll, we're definitely gonna start pushing other games as well so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i will see you guys later